Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to the first look or a first look episode um, and at the same time episode one of a new series uh, that we will start here and we have a look today at uh, the game Fortress Craft Evolved. Um, Fortress Craft Evolved, well I have the game pretty much since the day it was released but I have to be honest in the beginning um, I played the game for about 15 minutes and I found it very very hard to access and I just never touched it again until recently about three weeks ago I got into it again and I noticed a great deal of change uh, on the on the graphics on the uh, accessibility and on the content and I really got into it I have to admit so uh, what I want to do with this series is I want to take you guys through this um, I want to show you guys uh, how to progress in the game and uh, I want to put a disclaimer out right now I am not a professional at this game by any stretch of the imagination if you look for somebody who is right on top there is gonna carry you from the beginning to the end game with the most amazing super efficient machineries then this is not for you this is me going through the game at my pace um, more or less a leisurely stroll that shows you uh, how to progress or what you can expect from the game that by the way here is Arthur he is a bot that's supposed to help you but we have to build uh, we have to build him a new power core but that's more of that later and this in front of us is a power storage slash you could just call it a battery but yeah um, fortress crafty wolf what is this well it is a game that uh, how did i say that or how do i say that always um, if you like factorio then this game is for you because and you like good graphics then this game is for you because this is Factorio with wonderful graphics and if you think oh well this is just a uh, a clone of Factorio then no not really because the other way around there's gonna be a pair of shoes out of it because this game predates Factorio by I think at least a year and a half in its development and uh, so yes if you want to take comparisons then it's really it's the other way around this game came first and then factorio but anyways uh, this is not about uh taking comparisons between games or whatnot this is about this game and i welcome you to the start of this series um we're gonna go here through the tutorial rather quickly um but what i wanted to tell you guys is i'm gonna make it kind of like uh, I used to watch Minecraft uh, videos in my very very early YouTube days and I watched one uh, YouTuber in particular and that was Direwolf and uh, I liked how he goes over those uh, over his series always uh, I think that was the only series that I ever watched in Minecraft from the start to the beginning uh, to the end um, and that was when um, when frame machines were a thing still so you know how long that is ago um but yeah i i'd liked his approach of okay in the beginning he shows you more the grindy bits and pieces where you go and look for uh, minerals and whatnot and this is really important in this game here too uh finding ores and whatnot and so we kind of I kind of take this page out of his book and we're going to do that for the first few episodes. It's going to be more the grindy bits and pieces and then once we get into automation of stuff, then it gets more interesting and uh, probably a little bit fast, uh, more fast paced with, yeah, skipping stuff and whatnot uh, then too. But um, enough of me talking, let's get here into the game press, E and add resources. Uh, we're going to do that here to the... Uh, central power hub we're gonna have wood here which uh, is gonna get burned up um, it's gonna generate 73 power over the next 50 seconds and I have to turn the music off there we go because otherwise this will not start very long and uh, we're gonna fill up our power which we do now and we have an ore scanner now we're gonna hit the right mouse button to scan to scan the unknown well this here is unknown everything is unknown to us at the moment so now we scanned this bit here and now we're gonna go to the research station and we have unknown material now the unknown material if we scan this um it costs a certain amount of power now i 
don't th oh yeah here power required to research is 35 and this will go here out of the power remaining the value one is what we will get in research points and that is another part but we get to that here in a minute so we're going to process this we see oh yeah this is snow perfect so if you want to have a more detailed thing about snow then we're going to go here and we're going to go there a mixture of dirt and snow which appears to be ubiquitous to uh, in this world we can make a snowman But we're not worried about a snowman right now. Let me, however, fill up here and add more resources so that we can uh, keep going. So now we have to craft a power core to which we're going to go here to the manufacturing plant. And then we could just go here. Power core. Arthur power core. Fix the damage to Arthur, allowing him to move for our IB. Only one required must be carried in your inventory. So we're going to do that. Copper bar, it costs two. Click on craft. It crafts. Ta-da. And now Arthur. See? Hello, Arthur. Welcome. And at this point, as you can clearly see, this sphere that was protecting us is gone. Now we need to go rather quickly about the next steps because uh, well for one thing I don't want to keep you guys waiting forever let's just wait here for seven seconds and uh, second I would like to show you guys as many mechanics as possible here in the first uh, well let's say this episode takes 20 minutes or so and uh, of those 20 minutes of course I already burned through a whole bunch but anyways click on M here and then we're gonna do a general scan we're gonna ping the unknown which means everything that we do not know will light up like a Christmas tree so let's do this whoa whoa okay unknown block detected unknown block detected so this is of course then where we're gonna go we're gonna scan the unknown block there we're gonna scan this unknown block and as we scan those blocks and um, we quote unquote unlock um, no 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 there ah go away there we go um, as we scan more blocks then of course our scan is gonna be more and more uh, yeah, viable. Okay, let's fill up on the energy. Let's put more resources in here and go. No, yes, go to the research station. We have here more unknown materials and we're going to process this one. And we have another one that gives us another two, which is the rough, rough hoon rock. And the other one was, I don't know because I didn't pay attention, but that's okay. It was dirt, I'm pretty sure. So now, if we go ahead and ping again. Now, ah, see, that looks more like it. This starts to show us a little bit more uh, valid stuff here. So we can scan this little guy here. And the more you scan, really, you want this because you need this. Uh okay, let me see how we're going to go on from here. Um, okay, we haven't scanned the wood yet either. And as I said, the more you scan, especially in the beginning, by the way, this little spider bot is your friend. Do not shoot it. I did. I was not aware. Oh, stay back because this thing will definitely kill you. Um... Yeah, the more you scan, the more research points you get, and those research research points unlock different technologies for you. Oh, wait a second. I already scanned this one. Those guys here make me nervous, but that's okay. There are enemies in this world, but we don't want to worry about that too much right now. Add more resources here. And now we have here more unknown materials to process. So one, a tree trunk, leaves, 
and orange glow pot and now i can look here at the uh, recipes that we have for right now and that is only the thread scanner which costs us two points and a storage crate which costs us one point but honestly i'm not even interested in either at the moment um, then the projects is interesting we have the black box data a thorough analysis of the black box data required by a suit has now been completed it confirms the visual analysis that Analysis that the foreign object believed to be a meteor hit the station you were preparing to dock to. The resulting explosion damaged your ship's maneuvering thrusters and causing a crash landing on this alien planet. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. Thank you. But what we definitely want is a suit upgrading, basic mining upgrades and power grid. Whereas I'm thinking power grid is probably going to be our next... Uh, next goal but let's ping the area again and you see now that it is a lot more uh, refined what we see here so here we have another unknown which i know already what this is this is coal and since we are here and i know what it is i'm gonna start mining So this power level up here is very important for you that you keep this in mind because the suit external temperature is minus 20 degrees right now. Oh sorry, not minus 20. Yes, it is minus 20. The internal temperature is 18 degrees because minus 20 degrees is really no fun at all. So, ah, go away. There. Um, if you run out of power, then it's getting very friggin' cold. Okay, coal ore, just like I thought. And now that we have the coal ore, we can add the burning snow. I thought we had coal. Oh, okay, well, anyways. So during the day, by the way, you have also solar energy that charges up here, Mr. Ether, And he, in turn, charges you up, which you see with those little... Um, flashes that come around, come about, and we are again going to scan, and we do indeed have no ores that we can find. Um, yeah, let's let's just get into the mining bit here. Oh, can't make it through here. Unknown block detected. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have another block to scan. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Two unknown materials. In fact, we have not enough power. Yeah, see how how little value is in it. This only has eight value. Why are we not burning the coal? I'm very confused. Eight coal ore. Good. And this is going to be our first thing here that we're going to automate is uh, the production of coal into here because if we have a quote-unquote unlimited supply into the uh, into our central power hub which you never want to lose if you lose your central power hub the game is over literally game over end of line extra points if you can tell me what movie that quote was from but let's get oh man hope we can add some coal. Coal, 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 coal. There, coal ore. There we go. And this one has now 230 power uh, that it will deplete in 50 seconds. So that is nice because it's gonna give us more power here. Power required to research for this unknown material is 35. So let's do this. Okay, we have rubble and then we have also 175 here. We can do that. Copper ore. Perfect. 
So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna place the next... Actually, we're gonna place two things. We're gonna place a torch right here. No, we're not gonna place a torch right here. We're gonna place a torch here. And we're gonna place an extractor right here. And we're gonna add some power to it. There we go. And then we're gonna go back to the hub as quickly as possible because night is arriving and at night time it's getting significantly colder. And as I said, you never wanna run out of power in your suit because that means that you will run out of life very quickly. Boopy. Okay, so we have copper. Let's see. Ping the unknown. So this one is definitely a little bit deeper down. Okay, for that one we're gonna wait a little bit. Wanna have some copper. I want to have the... Um, take the 12 color here and take however much we have four copper here already oh yeah right we have four copper so with that i can show you guys melting right idea wrong place so if we put our four copper ore in here it requires eight nothing will happen okay Yes, we're gonna hit H so he doesn't. He stops. So materials and references here. You can see all the stuff that you um, researched and energy dense material which can be burned in central power hub, pyrothermic generator, coal banking mines can be mined during an ore extractor. And then of course a cor torch. And a torch actually, we're gonna put one down right now because that's gonna help us to conserve some power on our suit right now our external temperature is 17 14 degrees 20 degrees is perfect with that we can keep the power consumption of the battery at zero for now and uh, in the this is really just to show you that you can do that if you are down uh, below earth mining and you run out of power you have a torch then you're not dying immediately because you just can stay there and can comfortably survive um, until daylight comes hopefully you are not too deep down so arthur can charge up and he will charge you up um, as the day progresses unfortunately that only works i think up to 60 meters or minus 60 meters but uh, yeah more about that soon And another six. Good, good, good. Hop, hop, hop. Oops. There we go. Now here to the smelter. Another nice thing. Put eight copper in here. And then you can see here how it's heating up. 100 degrees, 125. Up to 1300 degrees, I want to say. Um, at which point it will melt our ore and uh, if you look here on the re uh, recipes that we have um, on the guides machines then you can see here we have a storage hopper we have a logistics hopper we have a mini hopper basic energy transmitter needs what it needs that we will see here okay i can put that away energy transmitter needs uh, four tin bars, four copper bars, so tin should be the next thing that we're gonna look for. The lower tier stuff all will need tin, tin and copper, and then once we go into a little bit higher stuff, then uh, this is when we start to need uh, um, now this is when we start to need uh, both iron and tin, or iron and copper. And we can, by the way, manually mine stuff with a left control. But that costs a crazy amount of... Uh, it, 
cost a crazy amount of energy and it is very in inefficient. But now, of course, we want to keep the energy going here. Yeah. Welcome back here for the last, mm, yeah, maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe five minutes of this video here. Um, so I skipped a little bit ahead, as you can see. Now, what I wanted to show you guys before anything else, if you hit V, then your rifle comes up. And here there are those little, I have no idea what they are. But as you can see, they are actually firing back. And you can get something out of it too. Costs, of course, energy. Ouch. Those little snow slimes or whatever you want to call them. So now you can really see where the energy management comes in and you have different levels too that you can choose in the beginning. Uh, I did not show you guys that because unfortunately I did not find uh, a way to disable the music in the beginning menu. So unfortunately, yeah, this uh, was just how it is in this is that as long as this one is on fire, stay away from it because it will kill you. We found another ore and unfortunately this little guy here is out of power. So we're going to switch to X. We're going to add some power out of our suit. And that is an unknown ore. And I'm thinking that could be tin or no, iron would be deeper. So hop, hop, hop. I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to take some more power out of this. So my suit is all. Yes, yes, I know. So my suit's fully powered up. And as I showed you guys earlier, you can manually mine, which I am going to... Oops, that was fairly close to... Too close for comfort. I'm gonna put this little guy... Here. And then we're gonna mine manually a little bit. Ho, 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 that takes a lot of energy. But this is really, this is just your low tier stuff that we can make now with tin and with copper. And in the beginning there's a lot of this going on where you run back and forth, uh, fill up the power storage, uh, empty the storage of the, of the miners. And th those are very low tier mining drills, obviously. The, we, we get into all that uh, real stuff here in a little bit. Okay, so now this one has to first fuel up before this one starts up again. Um, now recipes or projects, we have more than enough research points. So we're going to go ahead here and research the basic mining upgrades and the suit upgrades. We don't research yet. But we can research the power upgrades and that is good because that will show us in here. We can now forced induction basic ore smelter. Half the speed and efficiency of the regular smelter, but excellent stopgap. Cannot be upgraded with forced or yeah, cannot be upgraded with forced. And this one needs already basic PCB. So then we have here forced uh, place on top of a regular smelter to increase speed by 200%, but power usage by 800%. So you don't want that in the beginning. You really don't. Okay. Eighteen coal ore and fourteen copper and this guy is running out of energy slowly but surely. Don't call me surely. And fourteen tin. Yeah guys, I think you get now an idea about the basics here. Um we are going to be back fairly soon. 
with more. I would like to show you guys some more on the uh, conveyor belts and stuff like that. But I think this is going to be for the next episode, for the second episode, when we start. Or when we still go into fairly basic stuff. But this gives us a very, very, very basic rudimentary overview of the game. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please hit that like button. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and God bless.